Hey guys, it's Gameface here, and welcome back to episode 7 of my Juventus career mode. Now in today's episode, we've got three games to get through, the first of which is against Atalanta. We're going to sim that game, but then we'll be playing the next two matches. The first one uh, of those two games will be against AC Milan, and then the next one in the Champions League against Zenit. I think that's in the round of 16 as well now. Um, so, two difficult games after this one, and like I said, I'll be simming this game. This is the time I'm going to go with for the game initially. Um, quite a few changes. It's a second tier kind of side, to be honest. Uh, also, Venushi's in there, so it's a pretty decent second tier side uh, with Zaza up front. And uh, yeah, before we get into things, if we could go ahead and hit 40 likes on today's episode, I would really appreciate it. And if you haven't already, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well. It'd be absolutely fantastic. Apologies, these uploads have not been as frequent as usual. Um, I'd like them to be. I'm sure you guys would as well. But um, basically, I'm very, very busy with like schoolwork and stuff at the moment. I've got some practice exams and things like that uh, coming up. So for the next fortnight or so, uh, uploads will be much slower than usual. So apologies about that. Uh, I'll be trying to get uploads here, um, here and there when I can, basically. Quadrado scores 19 minutes in. That puts us 1-0 up. Approaching the second half now. They equalised just before then into the second half. We are going to skip, I think, around the 60th minute. As they score a second, we lose the game. Regani gets injured disappointing. It's a home match. It's one we should easily win. And that makes the league now very, very interesting. Player injured. Regani's out for seven days with a dead leg calf or something. So, uh, yeah, we're now only one point in front of Inter Milan. Disappointing result, that one, actually. Very disappointing, in fact. And uh, we're going to have to make up for that one now against AC Milan. We do have uh, Guerrero coming back. That's good news for us. He's a very, very important player for us. And it uh, might well get into this side. Is it me or have they updated some of the player faces? I think uh, Manlos has uh, changed his face. I think I did see something about this, actually, online. But uh, it's nice to see that I think they've also updated the ones on current career modes as well, I believe. I wasn't really expecting that to happen, but I'm pretty sure it's a different player face to the one he usually has. Okay, this is the sign I'm going to go with for the game against AC Milan in the league. Got Buffon starting in goal, not Lichtensteiner. <laughs> and we got uh, Hisaj, again got the pronunciation wrong on that one, but uh, hopefully I'll get it right in the near future. Manlos at centre-back alongside Laporte, as Blugbaster at left-back with uh, Pijaka and uh, Kikoviak playing as CDMs. We got Piaka, I think, is how I pronounce that one. Piaka as my left mid. Cohen on the right hand side with Verdi in behind Icardi. And that means we leave, we're left with a bench looking like this. Benucci, Guerrero, Storaro, Kadira, Quadrado, Mertens, and Machuayi. So quite a strong bench, plenty of options if we need them. Let's crack on with the game against AC Milan. Big important match for us. We need the three points, especially after a disappointing result in that last game that we simmed. Uh, we certainly need to make sure we can stay in front of Inter Milan uh, going into the final part of the season now. So yeah, let's crack on and see, and see how we get on against Milan. Okay, here we are at the San Siro here for this big match. We need to try and get ourselves a very good result here against AC Milan. Not really too sure whereabouts they are in the league. I can't remember seeing them in the top sort of six or seven. Uh, but I could be wrong. And um, yeah, we just need to assume that they are doing pretty well. And we need to take points off them. But also, we need to personally gain some points ourselves as well. Try and create some sort of um, bigger lead in front of Inter Milan. Oh, it falls for Icardi. On to Coleman. Oh, very, very lucky, but we'll take it. Oh, comes for an interception by, I think, an AC Milan player. He's just made it fall to Icardi very, very nicely past the defence. And we can play it across to Coleman. And a very simple finish in the end. Really happy with that one. We might have a slight injury there to Verdi, I think it was. Hopefully it's okay to continue. Uh, but yeah, won the lot. 13 minutes in. Brilliant start. Kikoviak. Oh, what a strike. What a finish. How that one's gone in. I have no idea. Past the goalkeeper. Not too sure who is in goal. I'm not sure whether it's Donnarumma or uh, somebody else. Not too sure. But they've not had a great start to this game. I think they should probably save that one. It's from quite a, a way out. The brilliant strike in the, in the end by Kikoviak. Good little bit of interchange. And uh, he gets forward nicely. And, yeah, I mean, it's right in the corner, actually, to be fair to the goalkeeper. But uh, still, maybe we should have done a little bit better from that sort of range. But 2-0 up, 21 minutes in. It's a very comfortable lead at the moment. This is actually a team which I'm probably going to join after Juventus. So, uh, don't want to thrash them too much here. But, uh, yeah, I think this will be the side that I'm joining after the Juve career mode. Um, it will also probably replace Leeds as well. I'm tempted to go down to just one career mode, obviously, with my exams and that sort of thing coming up. Uh, this summer, so it's tempting to do that, and then maybe an ultimate team series uh, alongside a career mode or something like that, which I'm kind of trying to work on at the moment, but so uh, we'll wait and see what happens in the future anyway. For now, let's try and beat Milan and uh, get Juventus the league title if we can. Kukoviak again looking to try and get a shot away, got blocked that time round. Icardi onto Kukoviak again, loves to get forward, does Kukoviak, he's doing very well for us, um, despite me not being a huge fan of his physical stats in game, he's brilliant. 
Half time, winning the game 2-0, very positive performance so far, really happy, we finally managed to get a couple of goals in this in the first half, not have to rely on the second half to try and turn it round. So we're going to keep the side exactly the same, hopefully continue in the similar sort of uh, way, I suppose, hopefully try and add to the scoreline and uh, make it 3 or 4 if we can. Icardi, ball through to Verdi, 3-0, that's exactly what we needed, we managed to finish off the game here, only a couple of minutes into the second half, but the game is over, I think, for Milan. And it's 3-0 to us. Brilliant bit of build-up play. Cohen inside. Icardi just finds a little chip. Wasn't too sure that he stayed on side, but he did. And smashes it on his weaker foot. Past the goalkeeper. 3-0 up. Let's start to make some changes. We've got a big game against Zenit, uh, St. Petersburg. Uh, a few days' time, I think. So we need to make some changes to this side now. Rest some players. Hopefully, that can use them in that game. Okay, so all three changes. I know we're only in the 50th minute, but I'm going to do it anyway. Just to try and preserve some of our players. Batshuayi, Mertens and Kadira all going on. Krakowiak, Icardi and Cohen all going off. Verdi's going to go on to the right-hand side. Um, not because he's not doing a good job, but just because I've not tried him on, on the wing before. So we're going to give that a go, see how he does for the final 40 minutes. And uh, yeah, hopefully that will uh, see us cruise to a 3-0 win. Maybe even get a fourth on the break. Oh, one back by Piyaka into Batshuayi. On to Mertens, can he finish it off? Oh, what a save that is from the goalkeeper. Fair play to him, he hasn't been fantastic this game, but uh, Gabriel making a very good save there. 20 minutes remaining of this game. Just gets a right hand to it, or right arm in fact, and uh, puts it out for a corner. Verdi to deliver, can we get anyone's head on it? Not a great delivery, a bit too far out, but he's got another chance here. Better one punched away though this time. Still kept alive, overhead kick, wow. <laughs> a really good overhead kick from Mertens. Good turn, good chance for Milan. They've not had many, but a fantastic save from Buffon. Still alive for them, and that's one of the most unrealistic goals you'll probably ever see, to be honest. How's he managed to do that from that sort of angle? It's their second shot of the game in the 88th minute, and I know that because for a second ago, it came up saying they'd had won the shot. Oh, let's see, one plus one equals two. Yeah, good maths. And uh, yeah, I don't know how he's managed to get it in from that angle, so disappointing we've conceded there. We lose the clean sheet, but. Um, yeah, it's only really a consolation goal. It looks very much in control this game. Restricted them to very few shots. That case um, was basically just the fact that one of our centre-backs ran out of position um, during their throwing and uh, led to us really just being outdone a little bit defensively, which is a bit frustrating. Uh, but like I say, I can't really have too many complaints about the way we've played in general. I'm not really after clean sheets, <laughs> in total honesty, not really bothered about them. Um, but we just need to make sure we're winning games, and we've managed to do that with this performance today. That is it. Three points in the bag. 3-1 win against Milan. The game was very much killed off when we got the third goal and obviously made those changes. They did only have two shots on target, as you can see from those stats a second ago. And uh, yeah, let's move on to the next game against Zenit now. Midweek match. And uh, that will be the final game of the episode. Okay, this is the side I'm going to go with for the game against Zenit in the Champions League. We've got Buffon starting in goal. Azbilicueta at right back. Bonucci and Barzagli at centre-back. I know Bonucci obviously had a fallout, I think, in real life, but he's getting into my team. There's no fallout between us. Matteo playing at left-back. Uh, Storaro and Marquezio playing for CDM. Guerrero is my left mid. Looking forward to using him, despite him being slightly injured, just kind of recovering from that still. Quadrado on the right-hand side. Cohen playing in behind Icardi for once. Thought I'd give that a go. Just want to see how that works. And uh, we'll go with that for now. That's the match I've gone with. Plenty of options yet again. Really deep squad for us to delve into if we need to. And uh, yeah, let's crack on with the game against uh, Zenit. Again, apologies that the episodes are sort of uh, shorter as well. But um, again, the shorter and, and less frequent for the reasons which I said at the start of the episode. This will be the last game of the episode. We've had to obviously sim one of the three games, which we usually wouldn't do. Um, but I can only apologise. And uh, things will get back to normal hopefully in about two weeks' time. Um, but yeah, let's get on with the game, see how we get on. Again, hopefully get ourselves an away goal, that's exactly what we need. A couple of away goals would be fantastic, and uh, would really set us up quite nicely for the second leg as well. Uh, but let's crack on with the game now and uh, see how we get on. Here we go, not really too sure what to expect from the Zenit team. Um, I'm hoping for a fairly comfortable game, but I know they do have quality here and there. And it seems like from the way that it started, it's going to be quite a big pitch, quite an open game. Struggling to get close to them early on, but uh, hopefully... That won't cause us too many issues during this match. There's a couple of players I've heard of. Most of them I probably won't have heard of too much. Um, but hopefully that won't affect the result that much. Oh, what a save early on. A couple of minutes in. It's their giant striker, which uh, I know, sadly, from when England played, uh, I think it was Russia, uh, not so long back. He, uh, I think, scored the winner. Brilliant from Guerrero. That's exactly why he's in the team. Very pacey. On to everything. Coleman to shoot. 
fantastic save from the goalkeeper. Gives us a corner. Really like Guerrero for that reason, exactly. Cohen now to deliver the ball. Storaro's up there, lacking a little bit of height there, but uh, back into the box it will go. Quadrado, Benucci, not known for his shooting, but wins. No, does not win as a free kick. Probably should have been. And Kizio onto Quadrado. It's a fantastic ball, inch perfect. Now needs to get into the box. Somebody, Icardi, finds Quadrado. Icardi still has it. Turns and decent strike, actually, considering it was on the turn. Falls for Komen, was not supposed to do that. Was looking for Guerrero, but uh, couldn't pick him out. Oh, well one back. He kind of needs some support. Komen's going to provide that support. There's not been many times where we've been able to run at them. And that's exactly why, because every time we do get close to their defence, they just intercept it, they clear it, and do a, a good job, to be fair to them, defensively. For me, they've come here for a nil-nil. They've come here to not concede an away goal. The way they're set up, the way that they're playing, that was nearly a chance for us to get that away goal. But uh, yeah, we've been in control, we've really bossed it, um, but with 10 minutes to go this first half, we're not looking too likely to score. Uh, very very defensive, very strong defensively. Can't really play a pass very often, but uh, yeah, it's going to be a very interesting second half, I think. We're going to have to really try and break them down if we can. Mancuzio, on to Quadrado, it's going to be a long ranger, sadly right at the keeper. Coleman still going, Guerrero looking for an opportunity, maybe the final one of this first half, I would have thought. Icardi... Into Comas is brilliant. Can he finish it off? Oh, gets blocked. Storaro. That's what I mean about how good they've been defensively. They find a leg or a foot or something. They get the body behind the ball every time and uh, prevent the shot. Brilliant first half from us, though. Performance-wise, been very, very good. Majority of the game has been in their half, which is good for us, obviously. Um, no concerns defensively. It's just can we break them down and can we get ourselves a goal? It looks like a classic case of a nil nil, but uh, we're going to hopefully try and prevent that by uh, outpassing them like we did towards the end of that first half. Guerrero looking for a crossing opportunity. Cardi's in there. Not going to be putting too many crosses in because I don't think we'll win many, but uh, it's a, certainly a decent delivery. And again, out to Guerrero, pulling them apart a little bit. Icardi to shoot, gets blocked. Another body in front of it. Icardi falls to Guerrero. Brilliant challenge. That's happened so many times. It looks like he's going to stay down, I think, Guerrero. That's not good for us. And uh, he's obviously just still returning from his injury. So if that is going to be a setback, then that won't be great. And he, I think he's got back up, though. He looks okay now. I've got another play gone down. I think that was Coleman that time. Coleman out to Quadrado. That's good. Need another attacking player going forward, though, if we can get one. Coleman now needs another runner. It's going to be Guerrero, who's fine. He's cutting back inside. Oh, what a save. Deflects away from the goalkeeper as well. There's 30 minutes to go. We're going to look to the bench now. Can't really afford for the game to go on too much longer without making any more changes. So Krakowiak's going to come on. Been very impressed with him, actually, uh, when he's played for us recently. And we're going to look to bring on a couple more players, I think, as well. Okay, here we go. All three changes. Asamoa and Zaza are also going to come on, as well as Krakowiak. That means we'll take off Marquezio, Quadrado and Aspilicueta. So it's a slight re rearrangement in defence. We've got Ma Matilio uh, going over to play as a right back. We've got Guerrero as my left wing back now. And we're going to try and play it like that. Asamo as a left mid. Um, so tactically switch things around a little bit. I've noticed that uh, their left mid in particular looks very good. So I've put a slightly faster player, Matillo, on that right hand side. Now he can play right back. Uh, hopefully we'll do okay for us. 30 minutes left. We need a goal. We need something. Um, I have no issue with Zenit playing this style of play. I actually, in a way, kind of respect it a little bit because you've got to kind of play with what you've got. And they've got a tall guy, got some decent defenders, some strong defenders. So stick them all in the team. You're going to end up playing this sort of style of football. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be very difficult for us going into the final 30 minutes, I think. Asamoah getting down the left-hand side. Needs a cross. <sighs> Didn't have Zazar in there. Didn't even get managed to get the cross into the box. Matteo will try and recover. He has done. Zaza. Oh, I thought it was going to fall for Icardi then. That was nearly going to be perfect. Zaza. onto Icardi. That is brilliant. Oh, gets outpaced. Icardi just lacking a little bit of extra energy towards this game. I don't know how he's managed to find himself on such a low energy compared to the defender. And, uh, yeah, we need to still try and create some chances. We're starting to look a slight more of, of a threat on the counter-attack in the second half. But uh, still not really causing us too many issues. Not creating many chances either. Zaza again looking to hold it up for the tired Icardi, but uh, can't do much with that. Zaza still got his fresh legs and a bit of strength. He's going to have to try and do this alone, I think. Having to cut inside now, though, he's going to try and create a chance, maybe. Oh, that's a moment. What a save. Oh, no. You know you're not going to win the match when they're pulling out saves like that. That's a hell of a save from the goalkeeper. 
think that's the game over for us now, pretty much. We, we obviously deserve to win. I'm not going to be too annoyed about this, though, even though we've not managed to get ourselves the away goal. Yeah, I can't really see any other way for Zenit to play other than this sort of defensive long ball type of play, so um, it is working for them in this match. They've prevented us from scoring. The goalkeeper's been incredible. He's needed to be as well. I've had lots of shots. Just such a shame that we couldn't get one in. Oh, what a save from Buffon. If that had flown in in the 90th minute, I would have been extremely annoyed because it would have been very much undeserved. Everyone back to try and stop this. I think the whistle will be blown here, though. In fact, they've got another chance. Don't let this be the winning goal. Let's get that one away. And that will surely be it. It is nil-nil. I don't really need to say that we don't deserve a draw there. We deserve to win, but uh, I will anyway. can't believe that. When the highlights are saved by their goalkeeper primarily, uh, then you know that you really should do better. But uh, 10 shots, 8 on target. Possession I actually expected to be further in our favour. Um, well, I say further, actually, I expected it to be in our favour. It wasn't from those stats. Um, but yeah, disappointing in the results. Performance was incredible. Very, very good. The goalkeeper was fantastic, though, for them. So were the defenders. And I can't really complain too much about the way they played. They played to the strengths, essentially. And it got them uh, a nil-nil, which is a very good result for them. Not so good for us. Uh, but it still very much leaves us in the game, and we should really win the next leg anyway, but uh, we'll wait and see exactly what happens. Maybe in the next episode, if it is the next episode when we play that match. Um, but yeah, very interested to see what happens in that second leg. Thank you all so much for watching today's episode. Again, apologies about the things that I've mentioned uh, during this video, about not being able to upload as frequently or for uh, as long. Um, but yeah, that will be everything for today's video. Hopefully I can get some out in the near future. Um, but I'll keep you updated on Twitter and that sort of thing if you follow me at GameFaceHD. And uh, yeah, that's everything for today's video. Thanks for watching. If we could go ahead and hit 40 likes on today's episode, I would really appreciate it. And if you haven't already, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well. It'd be absolutely fantastic. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time for another episode. Thanks for watching and goodbye.